We've got two and a half hours left to see the last two missions. We set a goal to see all five missions in a day. By 1.30, we were three missions down and needed to refuel before hitting number four. Our first choice came with kind of a packed parking lot. So it worked out well. We ended up at a place called Taqueria Nueva Vallarta and got really good food at a really good price. Lunch was good. It was, it was inexpensive. The waitress kind of threw me off a little bit when she opened up with que quiere tomar. I haven't, uh, haven't had to break out the Spanish in a long time. And Dean just kind of had a blank look because, yeah, he didn't pass Spanish. And now we are at Mission San Juan Capistrano. We've got two and a half hours left to see the last two missions. Luckily, they're the two smallest missions. We got to San Juan Capistrano at 2.30 and all of the missions close at 5. Did we have enough time to really see both of the other missions without shortchanging either one? Lucky for us, the last two missions are pretty close to each other and far enough away from any main thoroughfare to avoid crowds, unlike the Alamo and San Jose. <music> The last time we were here, they didn't have this little nature trail. So we're gonna walk this little trail that the ranger told us about. Each of the missions has a little museum in it, but the museums aren't always open because there's a limited number of park rangers available and they have to cover all four missions. So if that park's ranger is on site at that park, then the museum will be open. Otherwise, it won't. Today, San Juan and Espada shared a ranger, so no museum at Espada. Yanaguana is the original name of the San Antonio River. Flood control projects, particularly an Army Corps of Engineers project in the 1950s, have radically changed the appearance of the river. But on the Yanaguana Trail, you can get a glimpse of what the river would have looked like to mission inhabitants. The church at San Juan, like the other missions except the Alamo, remains an active church in the community. It retains the look, kind of the look and feel of a mission with a few concessions to our modern demands for comfort. At 3.30, we left San Juan and decided that we had time to make a quick stop at the Espada Ezequia, and I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure I am mispronouncing that. It's literally on the way and such an interesting place to stop. You don't expect to see basically a Roman aqueduct in Texas, but there's one in San Antonio. This Ezequia provided irrigation for our next stop, Mission Espada. mission. It is 335. The mission closes at 5, so pretty sure we've got enough time to get this done today. Since all of the churches in San Antonio Missions National Historic Site are active churches, some concessions have to be made by historical purists. The grounds, though, are generally kept in a state of preservation. Some buildings, such as the museums, may be restored to a certain degree of historical accuracy, most remain in a state of frozen decay. We're 
we're just about done with Mission Espada. We're gonna wrap it up here, head back home to Houston, and I am gonna prop my feet up. At 4.53 with seven minutes to spare, we got back on I-10 and hightailed it back home to three grateful dogs and three annoyed cats. If you missed last week's video, be sure to check that one out. And don't forget to hit that like button and hit that round subscribe icon at the end of the video. See you next week.